Oh, hello, this is Takshong from Walk with Ta. Now, if you find this video useful, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for receive notification of my future video postings. In this video, I would like to talk about oyster sauce, which is a very popular sauce in Chinese cooking. And many people have asked me in the past, uh, what kind of dishes uh, do you use oyster sauce and why you are using it? Uh, oyster sauce is made by uh, different companies and they come in different brands. However, the most common oyster sauce you find in the supermarket is a brand known Lee Kam Kee. Uh, they are well known for the panda on the label. Uh, oyster sauce is a dark color sauce that are slightly thickened. And uh, the oyster sauce, the dark color is due to the presence of soy sauce. Now, a lot of people ask me, do they really have oyster in the sauce? Uh, oyster sauce originated from the southern part of China about 100 years ago uh, at the time when there are excess of oyster. Uh, so what people do is that they will take the oyster extract and to make the sauce. Uh, here is the recipe uh, for making oyster sauce in the original method. As you can see that oyster is part of the component of the sauce. However, most of the oyster sauce now be available on the market today are frequently known as flavored oyster sauce, which uh, kind of uh, doubtful how much oyster extract they actually contains. Uh, furthermore, now it is available for vegetarian oyster sauce. So in this case, obviously no oysters is included uh, in the sauce. Uh, oyster sauce is most famous for using as a garnish in a dish uh, involve a Chinese vegetable known as gailan, also known as Chinese broccoli. Uh, this Chinese broccoli actually is very similar uh, to the broccoli that we have around here. Uh, if you like the stem of the broccoli, uh, you will love this Chinese broccoli and it goes really well with oyster sauce. So first and foremost, uh, oyster sauce is used as a garnish over a dish that have already been cooked. And one of such dish is egg and tomato, which is one of the most uh, popular dish uh, in Chinese cuisine. Uh, this dish is also known as Fu Yang Egg. And I have a video that you can uh, find out more about this dish. But one of the frequent characteristics of this dish is that after the dish is being cooked, it is garnished with oyster sauce on top. Uh, I've cooked many different versions of this dish. For example, uh, I will cook it with shrimp or with mushroom, and sometimes I cook it with uh, scallop as well. But I always garnish this dish with oyster sauce on top after I cook the dish. Uh, if you have never tasted uh, oyster sauce before, uh, sometimes you should just put a little bit on a spoon and taste it. Uh, you will find that it is a relatively salty sauce, but it has great savory flavor. Uh, so in many ways, the uh, oyster sauce could be used as a substitution for soy sauce or for salt, and it brings a uh, umami flavor to the dish. Uh, because of these characteristics, uh, oyster sauce is very popular to use as a garnish on vegetables as well as other type of dishes. Uh, here is an example uh, of a steamed vegetable that after it is steamed, it is being garnished with oyster sauce to bring some savory taste to the dish. Uh, another popular dish that I use uh, for garnish with oyster sauce uh, is a dish known as biryani, uh, which is a dish that uh, I have cooked in the past. And you can take a look at this video. Now in this dish, when it is done, uh, garnish it with oyster sauce greatly uh, increase the flavoring and appeal of the dish. I also use oyster sauce in cooking as well. Uh, one of the dish that oyster sauce is essential in creating this particular flavor, and that is teriyaki chicken. Uh, as you see in this example, uh, the first sauce I'm going to add to this uh, stir fried chicken uh, is oyster sauce. Uh, to create the teriyaki flavor of uh, the chicken, uh, I would then add uh, uh, dark soy sauce uh, followed by hoisin sauce. Uh, quite often I also add sugar as well, uh, depending how I want the taste to come out. Uh, these three sauces work uh, uh, incredibly well. And uh, anytime when you make any dishes that you require a teriyaki flavor, uh, oyster sauce is an important component. Uh, this including things like general tau chicken, which is very similar to teriyaki chicken. Uh, orange chicken is also uh, have the same similar flavor. And in all these dishes, oyster sauce always uh, is an important component of the flavoring agents. Uh, oyster sauce is also uh, a great addition to fried rice, uh, depending on how you want the fried rice to turn out. Uh, oyster sauce will add umami flavor to the fried rice. 
Uh, unlike in making the teriyaki chicken or teriyaki beef, uh, I add significant amount of oyster sauce. Uh, however, for fried rice, I added a rather discretionary. Uh, I try not to overwhelm uh, other flavor that might be present in the fried rice. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, I used oyster sauce in different type of fried rice, all the way from uh, a vegetarian fried rice uh, to a hot dog fried rice. Uh, all of this oyster sauce will bring some additional flavor uh, to the fried rice. When I'm cooking for companies, uh, particularly for young children, uh, I always add oyster sauce because the expectation is the uh, fried rice to be more saltier than I would like. When it comes to a uh, vegetable uh, fried rice, uh, I will refrain from adding oyster sauce if I'm going to add any at all uh, because I want to taste the natural flavor of the vegetables uh, in the fried rice. I often use uh, oyster sauce in cooking vegetables. Again, I will use it particularly when I cook for company uh, because again, the expectation of most people uh, will like the dish a little bit with more salt. And therefore, I will always use oyster sauce instead of soy sauce uh, to add the salt to the dish. Uh, of course, the main advantage of uh, oyster sauce is that it adds umami flavor uh, to the dish as in comparison to soy sauce. Uh, my goal and approach in uh, cooking these dishes with oyster sauce is that uh, I want to use the oyster sauce to enhance the natural flavor of the ingredients rather than to overwhelm them. Uh, however, in one type of dish that I do use oyster sauce in greater abundance is that when I cook with tofu because tofu uh, are relatively bland so oyster sauce can greatly improve uh, the flavor of the tofu and since tofu can absorb many different flavors and by creating a complex uh, flavor for the tofu it makes the dish more interesting. Uh, for a long time I used to buy oyster sauce that comes in a bottle like this. Uh, then about several years ago a friend told me that uh, it is far more economical if I buy oyster sauce in a can. Uh, this is a five pound can and it has uh, much more oyster sauce and in terms of value it is a uh, much improved purchase. Uh, when I opened the can, uh, I store the oyster sure. sauce in a jar and then I uh, put the oyster sauce that I'm going to use on a daily basis uh, in a squeeze bottle. Uh, this makes dispensing the oyster sauce into uh, the cooking, into the wok or into a uh, dish for garnishing uh, much easier. Uh, you can buy this uh, can of uh, oyster sauce in most uh, Asian stores if you have one around you or you can purchase it from Amazon and the latest price I look at it is about $13 per can. If you can go to an Asian store, they usually cost about $7 to $8 per can. Uh, I have two sauces that I use on a regular basis. Uh, number one is oyster sauce and number two is hoisin sauce. Uh, they are very convenient uh, to add flavor to a dish. Uh, however, I prefer to season my dish if whenever possible uh, to use uh, individual seasoning agents such herbs and spices. Uh, I use a masala dabber uh, that contains some of my basic seasoning mix and I also have a uh, pre-mix uh, seasoning which I use. Uh, I prefer uh, seasoning uh, agents uh, better than sauces. Uh, because after all to me a uh, sauces is like processed food. Now if you look at the back ingredients of the oyster sauce on the back of the can uh, you will find that it contains uh, many of the agents that you probably would not want to eat too often. Uh, in addition to uh, salt that you find in the oyster sauce uh, you also find MSG and you also find a high fructose corn syrup. Uh, nevertheless, due to convenience, I still use oyster sauce quite often, uh, but I do not use it in all my dishes. Uh, to make your food more interesting and also to do flavor chasing, it is much better uh, to use a wide variety of different seasoning agents. Uh, despite all of this, uh, oyster sauce should be one of your uh, most used seasoning sauce and make it available uh, for whatever you are cooking and you can always use this to enhance the flavor of your dish. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you uh, like the information presented in this video, uh, please click the like icon below because this will help me to broaden my audience. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like to receive notifications of my future video postings. I'll see you next time.